By the way, Mother's Day is... When is Mother's Day? May something. May... Fred? Fred, you ought to get your mother a Mother's Day gift. You used to go home and see her every weekend. Now you never go. Since remember got... when he used to send her cookie puss? Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> Fred, didn't you just send your mom cookie puss on Mother's Day? Hey, doesn't cookie everybody? puss. Doesn't everybody? He sent his mom a cookie puss. <laughs> Stop. I swear to God. It's true. I used to say, Fred, that's your mom, man. You're sending her a Carvel cookie puss. It's your mom. Jesus, go to Fortune House, get some jewelry. Because you never see her anymore, right? When's the last time you saw your mother? Be honest. Uh, probably Christmas. Oh. Whoa. I didn't even realize it. When's the last time you saw your mother, Robin? Hey, you hey, know hey, I haven't hey, seen hey, my mother. I'm supposed it. to be on good, uh, good terms with your mother. Yeah, but you love your mother. I mean, you used to go every weekend to see her. I still love her, and she knows that. Since you got the princess, you never even go. Oh, I go. You know what it is with you? If you don't have anybody to go to on a weekend, you go to your parents. They're the last choice in your life. Now that you have a girlfriend, yeah, you just you've like four years later, you've yeah. totally blown them off. Because <laughs> you remember how you used to say to me, Howard, I can't do stuff on the weekends. I have to go home to see my parents. I have to help them with uh, mowing the that's lawn true. and stuff. That's true. Now they all don't of a sudden, have lawns anymore? No, there's no lawn to mow. So I knew you were they've lying to me. They've got a tractor now. I knew you were lying to me back then. I knew it. That's a lie. You hey, were lying I to me. I resent that. No, I know you were lying to me. You? Oh, stop it. You were. No. Admit it. Admit it. So how come you don't have to go I anymore? Is, not, it, is it a coincidence hey, that hey, now that you have a girlfriend? Hey, hey. I'm not, I wasn't lying, and I'm not lying, and I just resent you saying that. Well, you can resent me all you want. I'm okay. telling you, I caught you in a lie. Well, no, you didn't. I knew I would. No, you didn't. Swear on Lord Jesus. I swear on Lord Jesus. That, that you have the same <laughs> obligations now that you had then. It's just that you were lonely back then. I was lonely back then, but I also had obligations. And you don't have the it's same a obligations? situation. Ah, I see. Situation? What's the difference? What's the difference? I have other things in my life right now. Oh. Oh. But what Ow. about when I needed Ow. you? But what about Ow. when I needed you on the weekend? Ow. Help me. And what if I needed you on the weekend? Ow. <laughs> yeah, really. What if Ow. I needed you? Ow. I don't count? Ow. I don't count. You're not the princess. Huh? No. Oh, what's the matter? Because I don't spread my legs for you, Freddy? Ow. Just because I don't spread my legs for you, Freddy? Ow. <laughs> wow. Wow. That's some new. What is that new impression? What's that supposed to be? I believe that's you. Oh, that's me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you believe that I sound like ow, ow, ow. I ow. think you don't. Yes. Well, ow. I'll tell you something, Fred. You keep praying I sound like that because that's how we make money. I know. And every time you and mimic me or mock me, you yeah. just remember where the paycheck yeah. comes and from. And you remember where the paycheck is. Yeah. 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 That's right. Yeah, that's right. Boy. Look how he comes to yeah, life. Yeah, that's right. Do me a favor. Yeah, that's right. Do me a favor. Take yeah, this much favor. verb. Do me, do me a favor and put this much verb and write a script, okay? All right. right. That's uh, right. Yeah, you yeah, hit that's it. Right. Yeah. That's go right. Go home at night yeah, and type. Go home at night. Right. Yeah. Go on, go and call me up one time with this kind of attitude yeah, yeah. and say, Howard, I wrote a script on my own. Yeah, sure, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. That's the new shtick now. That's the new Fred Norris shtick. He sits there and he, and he goes, rah, 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 rah. That's it. And, and think about entertainment on this show. I thought that was entertaining. I don't feel that's entertaining. Yes, it was. It was. I don't know. You think I that's entertaining? It. You think I that's entertainment? So. Yeah, I thought so. That's good. I'm sorry, you know. You're fascinating. Thank Do me a favor. As, as now that you're in this creative mood, write something down and, and submit it to me hey, after the show. Hey, bud, I do. Good. I'm waiting for that. Caught him in a lie, Robin. I hear you. Stop it. All right, now, fortunate. <laughs> I knew it. I knew, I knew I'd have to wait five years till he got a girlfriend, but now I caught him in a lie. I used to ask him, I say, Fred, I need you the week. Oh, okay. I got I got to chop, chop down a tree. And then he goes, oh, my grandfather's ill. Okay. Every weekend you got to go? Every weekend, like clockwork. Okay. I all wonder right. who's tending poor grandpa's grave. Yeah, that's right. Not Fred. Probably all overgrown. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> got weeds. All right. <laughs> poor grandpa. Fred didn't even like his grandpa. Oh, right. yeah. no, he hated him. Yeah. Did you like your grandfather? Did I like my grandfather? I wasn't fond of him, no. All right. Thank you. That's all I wanted to hear. But at least I would see him from time to time. <clears throat> <laughs> I'm not a hypocrite. Oh, you're not a hypocrite. Cool. Right. You just see your parents when it's convenient, Fred. When you don't have a girlfriend. If your girlfriend broke up, you'd go back to seeing your parents. When you adopted him that weekend, he right. didn't see his parents. Oh, yeah. Stayed with me. <laughs> Came to my house one weekend and stayed a month. <laughs> I could have easily been his girlfriend, believe me. I'm telling yeah, right. you. I could have gotten you. If you had made him leave, <laughs> he'd still be there. I could have been living with you. You could have been Mrs. Howard Stern. That's right.
See the energy he just put into that? I wish when I say, hey, Fred, quick, get the guitar. I, I wish he would. Or when you say, okay, it's time to write. It's time to write. I could find him. Yeah. I mean, instead of him then wandering off. It's like, I like, I like how you twist it, you know? All right. Thank you. At least that's a compliment. You're more on track. Do you ever go to Fortune House and buy me jewelry? Would I buy? No, I don't think so. All right. Enough said. <laughs> You're not my mother. <laughs> You're not my mother. What? Are you going to get your mother cookie puss? <laughs> he never even no, said I, you a cookie puss. I, 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 well, seriously, did you, I don't actually, remember that. Did you actually get her I, a cookie puss? Yes, I did. And I also Howard, got her jewelry. I didn't make that up. <laughs> and I also got her jewelry. All right, all right. Everyone's just having fun. No one's making fun of Cookie Puss. Oh, come on. Leave it alone. It's a great problem. I remember. He came back after the Mother's Day week. He was like, what'd you get your mother, Fred? I've got her Cookie Puss. Hey, Scott, can you put me? Can you give me my Cookie Puss voice? <laughs> hey, I thought it was a funny thing at the time. Charles, <laughs> Charles, wait a second. I gotta be Cookie Puss. Oh, there you go. That's Cookie Puss. Wait a second. Oh, that's Cookie Puss. Hey, Fred. <laughs> I gotta take you out of that. Oh, oh this is it. This is the this is the ridicule portion of the show. Hey, Fred. Yes. How come you didn't get your mom a fudgy to whale? Because I didn't want to get her a fudgy to whale. How come? Because I didn't. Because Cookie Puss is number one, right? That's right. Right. <laughs> cookie Puss is the best. What What did your mom say to you when she got the Cookie Puss? Thank you. Right. She really was appreciative. Yes, she was. What do you do? You call the Carvel in uh, Connecticut, or no, you get the Carvel I, I in New York? No, I picked it up myself. But you picked up a cookie I puss? I picked it up myself. <laughs> Let me get this straight. <laughs> this is really you... confusing to you, yes. cookie puss? Yes, yes, I'm it sorry. is. I'm sorry I bought you, then you're stupid. <laughs> cookie puss doesn't have a high IQ, Fred. Could you I not guess, insult? I guess. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm just an puss. ice cream cake. I'm not as smart as you, Mr. <laughs> Smarty there Pants. See? Mr. Cookie Puss uh, That's aficionado. Right. That's right. Let me get this straight. Yes. You were looking for a Mother's Day gift. Right. And you were up in Connecticut already. Yes. Your mother wasn't an afterthought. Yeah, you didn't drive the no, cookie no, puss no. from New York all the way up to Connecticut. No, no, no. <laughs> and pack it in ice no, or something. No, I didn't. <laughs> but don't you think that's kind of a last minute, oh, Mother's Day. Right. What can I get her? Uh, cookie puss. It's Carvel's right around the corner. Right. I think you, you really didn't think about your mother. I think that what happened was... Well, you were, well thank you for judging me, Cookie Puss. At the last... <laughs> when did you come up with the idea to get a Cookie Puss? Like the last minute. Be honest. Be honest. Be honest? Yeah. I don't have to be honest. I'm a liar. You remember that? No, 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 no. You can that was Howie. This is Cookie Puss. This is Cookie Puss. Everyone's honest with Cookie Puss. Right, right, right. Okay. I hate Fudgy the Whale. <laughs> really? Oh, yeah. He's a... What kind of whale is he, Fred? You know. Baleen, isn't he? Yes, that is. Baleen whale. Right. He's a baleen whale? Yeah. What's that? He's got a big ass blowhole <laughs> right out of his, uh, <laughs> out of his head. And, uh, Cookie Puss, I never heard you talk like this. Oh, yeah. Um, now that Tom Carvel is dead, I can show my true colors. <laughs> I can do penis jokes. Oh, no. Crying out loud. Sure, sure. I just, I thought your name was rather funny all along. Cookie Puss. Yeah. Oh, because you think like Cookie Pussy. Oh, yeah, I thought that was like. Shortened or something. No, no, no. It's Cookie Puss. Okay. Cookie Puss. Tom Carvel was like a weird guy. <laughs> <laughs> really weird. I wish he could have named me like... What would you... Rambo. Mean? Rambo. <laughs> Rambo Puss. Rambo the cake. Rambo the cake. <laughs> the ice cream cake. Yeah, cookie Puss. What am I, a woman or a man? You sound like a woman. Yeah, but I... I feel a cookie like... Puss. What would that be? But I think there's a man inside of me. <laughs> Trying to get out. Fred, I just want to thank you for giving your mom a cookie puss. You like, started a tradition of it. You did. Yeah, yeah. When's the what? After you got her the cookie puss, was she was like was she like really freaked out? Oh, Fred, you shouldn't have. I don't recall. Oh, Fred, you shouldn't have bought me the cookie puss. <laughs> Great impression. Thank you. I do impressions too. Yeah. Want to hear my David Brenner? Please. <laughs> <laughs> what else do you do? Hmm. In the village, I once bought vagina the cake. Did you ever see that? <laughs> they have that. What is Cookie Puss supposed to be in here? I don't even know what the cake looks like. <laughs> <laughs> what do I look like, Fred? Seriously, I forget because I don't have a mirror here at Carvel. What do I look like? Oh, God, it's been a long time. I know I what Fudgy looks like the Whale ball. looks like. I think it looked like a light bulb, and they used to change it to like uh, it was like uh, dump. No, that was. They usually use the same mold for every for other cakes. Right. Fred, so nice of you to buy your mom. An ice cream cake. Yeah. Why don't you just buy her a newspaper or a quart of milk? <laughs> That's this year. A Slurpee. Hey, Mom, this year I got you a Slurpee. That's this year. All right.
Okay, come on, let's cut it out. I love Fred. <laughs> I'm Cookie Puss and I love Fred. I don't. <laughs> I gotta admit, you were a ball of fire in the writing meeting yesterday. You did come up with like ninety. Was he? Yeah. He, he was what like, were you doing in the writing meeting? In fact, uh, I started yelling at Mark Burgless and uh, saying, "Why can't you be more like Fred?" Cookie Puss yeah. did this. Yeah. So look how Fred comes in prepared and he's got a whole bunch of notes and stuff. So. Wow. Then I got a hold of Jackie and. Started yelling at Jackie. Fred got everybody into trouble. Oh, yeah. I was very impressed. <laughs> Fred's actually a real writer. And Jackie wrote a lot of stuff, too. Yeah. I yelled at Fred. Why can't it be more like Jackie and Fred? Uh, I play them all off 1HM, you know. Trying to get some right. output. Right. <laughs> Make them compete. Hey, Fred, you know what you ought to get your mom for uh, Mother's Day? Uh, you know what's a nice gift? Seriously. I, I, I don't mean this getting around. Cotton candy. <laughs> That's not bad. <laughs> what a generous guy. <laughs> that was the first cookie puss for Mother's Day. You're not even having your mother at your wedding. That's wrong. I know. He's sending our cookie puss to make up for it. Yeah. Why don't you send our cookie puss? <laughs> I might do that. Are you going to have a cookie puss wedding cake? Yes, I will. Yeah. Although you gotta admit, that's pretty insulting, though, to give your mom a cookie puss. And this isn't insulting. What? Look at what she did for oh, you. She went through though. hours and hours of labor yeah. to have you. You Mocking give her a cookie nice puss. That's this was Fred right. got me a cookie puss. <laughs> Tell all the other people in Connecticut. That's cookie not puss. You. Okay. Do you call her at least? Yes, I do. Okay. When was the last time? When was the last time you called your mother, Robin? Uh-oh. That's not the point. Cookie not Puss the... is asking. Why I do called I my mother. To you. <laughs> <laughs> He's not going to be interviewed by you. Only Cookie Puss. All right. I'm sorry, no, Cookie Puss. No Did you that. ask him when was the last time he called his mother? Cookie Puss has got to leave now. Gonna... Cookie Puss is running out of the room during the commercial. <laughs> So he doesn't have to be in here with Fred. <laughs> Fred's really upset. With I'm us. just contemplating, should Cookie Puss, like, really leave the room? Or... I thought you were being rather come... bold for an ice cream cake. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, what's he going to do to me? Eat me? Hey, Fred, eat me. <laughs> Fred, but you're a big fan of Cookie Puss. What is in Cookie Puss? Is it chocolate or vanilla? Or can you get a choice? I, th I think you have a choice. <laughs> do you have to order that in advance, or can you just walk in and no, say... No, you just walk in and get it. Did you get your mom's... Did you, did you say happy birthday, mom, or something? I mean, happy, happy Mother's birthday, Day? Happy birthday, happy Mother's Day, whatever. Oh, really? Sure. Since Carvel died, they've loosened up a lot now. There's fudge eating underpants. <laughs> oh, no. It's just like a... It's a giant underpants cake with lots of fudge in the, in the, in the uh, bottom of it. It's fascinating. Carvel was like really around that thing like an iron. Yeah, I test. wondered if there was going to be anything new after he died. Oh, yeah. We're going to have like gay cakes. <laughs> All kind of neat stuff. Body parts. Oh, yeah. Dumpy the shrinker. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe Freddie's mom will get a vagina cake. Yeah, a vagina cake. Hey, 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 that's my mom, all right? Cheesy. Did you see this new one? Cheesy, cheesy the foot. And it's just like a, a big foot with cheese in it. <laughs> a big smelly foot. Mmm. With a gay toenail. <laughs> and there's Booger the Nose. Oh, jeez. What kind of neat things? Andy the Anus. You don't want to get your mom that. That's not a, a Mother's Day kind of cake. No. All right, let me get out of this voice. I'm annoying Fred. I don't need to annoy Fred. I got to get through the... <clears throat> I'm afraid to get out of this voice. I'll be honest with you. <laughs> You're afraid of talking to Fred for real. At least when I'm when I'm the cake, <laughs> like a little mellower. He's tolerant. Yeah, he's not like yelling. <laughs> Fred, maybe you and I should go in the cake business now that Carvel's dead. <laughs> but we can make really horrible cakes, like disgusting. Oh, oh gray and green. Oh, gray and green and junk. What do you think? Oh boy. Um, okay, hold on. It's safe out here. Yeah, I'm back. Oof. I'm sure that wasn't me. That was the cake. <laughs> All right. Let's calm down a little bit. <laughs> hey, the cake did say that you were really great in the writing meeting yesterday. Yes, it did. <laughs> okay. And I'm sure it appreciated being given to your mother. Right. Right. Actually, the Carvel products are pretty good. I okay. loved uh, Cookie Puss. We just said Carvel... Uh, we just said Carvel cake at my daughter's birthday party. Yeah. I, I remember that. Cookie Puss being really good. It is good. So, Fred, I, I understand. It is a good cake. 
Why would I give that to my mother? It was terrible. All right. <laughs> Did she eat it all by herself? No, no she, she shared. <laughs> Even I know his mother. She wouldn't just sit there and hoard the cookie puss. <laughs> <Nah>. <laughs> I called Fred's mother the other night, told me she still has half of it in the freezer. <laughs> she didn't want to let it go. That no. was from Fred. It's the only thing she has of Fred. <laughs> Hasn't seen him since Christmas. Every once in a while she takes out and looks at it, remembers her son. Yeah. Aww. When you went to see her in Christmas, did the Princess Norris go with you? Yes, absolutely. Oh, good. That's good. Yeah. So she understands. She had to sit in the car? Yeah. Why, because she's Jewish? Yes. Okay. I don't know what my family situation has to do with Fred, though. If I ask him a question, I just want to know about he his was, family. He was feeling attacked, and he had to go on the I offensive. Okay. He was feeling attacked. Uh, no, I just feel that, uh, you know, that Robin has no right to comment. Because why? Because she has a bad family situation? Basically, yeah. I, well, I, why find, can't she I have... find that a bit hypocritical. What? 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 No, I don't get that. Seriously. You don't get that? I don't feel she's qualified to comment on any situation of mine. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right. There you go. Fair enough. <laughs> Right. That's right. I, that I haven't agree with him on that. <laughs> I am qualified. Mm, I Especially after the David Brenner. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh, this from the funny farm. It's the Pam Star Show. Funny farm. Live from the funny farm. Yeah, we're just horsing around. Yeah, that's, that's, that's fun. You're on the air quickly yeah, because I want to move into the hooker tapes. Oh, the hooker tapes. Well, listen, I just want to tell you that that cookie push routine you did yesterday. Had to be one of the funniest things I've ever heard. Oh, thanks, man. And, uh, if I, you know, I wish you could make Cookie Puss part of uh, the morning routine. Yeah, that's what happens. It's like Scott came in today and said, do you want me to put on Cookie Puss for today? I go, no, 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 no. I did it already. It's done. If you heard it, you heard it. If you didn't, you did it. You know, that's the good thing about this show. We don't sort of... Do things to death, you know. Because Gary even said to me, he said, you know, you haven't done dial a date in like a year. I said, yeah, I guess. I said, but we'll get, don't worry, I'll get into a jag where I'll do it three or four times and then I'll get sick of it. Which probably makes the show fresh, because then if I rely on Cookie Puss, I won't come up with other characters. It's not that you're scared Fred's going to kill you. <laughs> Maybe it's that. <laughs> that's not Fred. I didn't even know why you had to bring that up today. Fred was liking us for a minute. Oh, I had to work all afternoon on getting Fred back into my camp. He really is a maniac. I started to call Fred last night, you know, to make sure he was still all right with me. Well, we had a big writing meeting yesterday, and everything Fred said, I was laughing like a schoolgirl. <laughs> and I was like, Jesus, you're funny. <laughs> Jackie sucks. You're funny, Fred. Plotting in the office. Plotting in, uh, plotting in the office. Good Lord, you really are done yourself. I realized one thing after the whole thing was over. It was Robin who instigated the whole thing. Oh, I don't do anything. Oh, you don't do I anything. I love how you feign. Why? Because, let me ask you something. Because she reminded me that you got your you mom. You got your cookie you puss. You're the one who instigated it. No, no, no. Who bought I mean, it? I bought it, but she brings it up. <laughs> and let me years, tell you something. Eight years later. Thank you. And if you ever stop bringing eight stuff up, then we're really in trouble. Because I have no memory. Nothing except pen, okay? People last night saying, you know, that was brilliant. Where did you come up with that wild idea that Fred bought his mother a pen? <laughs> Yeah, that's reality. Because, Fred, that, that really does show that you were something of a bumpkin. Let's be yeah, honest. Yeah, your your girlfriend really has changed you around. I've also had to take credit for myself as well. Yeah. I mean, you, you had the you ability. You let her. You let her change you. <laughs> okay. But you are a bit of a chameleon in the sense, and I've always said this about you. When you remember, Fred likes to latch onto one person. And then he becomes the he, and he yes. does whatever they do, which oh, is fun you, for the thank person. You, thank you. I'll because come, Fred I will do, have any. No, no, I'm about to compliment you. Own. I'm about to compliment you. Get well, that co didn't sound like we were leading. Get the cookie that. puss sound effect, Freddy. <laughs> <laughs> Scott, get the cookie puss thing. <laughs> Test one, 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 one. Test one. Test one. Test one. Here, cookie puss. Cookie puss. I think coming out of me. One second. Test one. Test one. Test one. Take it to Fred. It's called maniac puss. Test, 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 test. Keep going. Uh, yeah. Okay. Now, a little more. Uh, test, 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 test. Come on, cookie puss. Come on, cookie puss. There you go. Okay. Anyway, what I was saying is. Just in case I need it. Yeah. Fred is sort of like a chameleon in the sense that... Do, can, do I have any say in this? Yeah, sure. Okay. Just just go ahead. I want to hear your theory. Fred, next year you could buy your mom Cookie Jew. <laughs> what did that? <laughs> cookie Jew the Nazi. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, uh... You can be a Nazi and cook cookie juice. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> you guys can cook cookie juice and eat them. <laughs> you can make a lampshade out of his ice cream face. Oh, All right, God. anyway. Uh... Pull out cookie juice tea. <laughs> <laughs> Sell them. This <laughs> poor cookie juice has no teeth. Cookie juice is smart, doesn't have any teeth. <laughs> no, but what I'm saying is, Fred. Hey, Gary, you can back me up on this. <laughs> 
Because I know that when... I love I, how you bring Gary into this. The no, 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 I'm, because he's one like, of the guys who took you on. I took one. When I first took you on, mm -hmm. you know, and I became your... See, I thought I was being friendly with people. No, you but are. I guess, but I guess you are that, friendly. You know, You're a great I, friend. This is I your stand. way of being a friend. I friend. You get obsessed Correct. with that person and you... Is if, that what I do? You will actually... Where did you get your degree, by the way? <laughs> I'm curious. All right. Okay. When Fred gets lonely, which, you know... Let's face it. it. Happens to everybody. It happens to everybody. No, he's no different. I would say the same thing happens on this show. I mean, people hang around you; they assume your characteristics. That's true. Gary would do it. Right. I think anybody. Gary. Yes. <laughs> yeah, he's become you, Howard. You don't think in some way? <laughs> well, I grew my hair longer because of Howard. There you go. Right. I, I always wanted to, but Howard allowed and me to. And Robin doesn't wear leather because, like, Howard kind of like started that whole thing. Well, I think we all come. Right. We all. We all learn right. through. Just everybody right. emulating right. Howard. Valid point, right? No. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I stand corrected. Fred, at least you didn't wind up with ten. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Then what I'm just saying about Fred is that when he gets real lonely, he will, you know, if somebody takes, he's one of those passive aggressive types that if you take him on, he'll like move into your place and stay. It's more like flypaper. Yeah. <laughs> so what happened was, I when I started having kids, I couldn't take that role on anymore, because Fred and I used to hang around all the time. You kicked and I Fred miss it. out. I, I didn't mean to kick you him out. You kicked him out. It's loud. just that my life became more complicated. <laughs> you Fred, I apologize. I, I, I know you've always secretly <laughs> resented me, but what happened was Fred then like latched on to different people. You know, I really hate this because it sounds true and I don't like this. <laughs> and then Gary, remember when Fred was like Gary's friend right. for a while and like he was over your apartment well, I'm sorry, all the time? It was well, no, actually it was the other way around. I, I used to go to his place all the time. Right. And then didn't you guys no, you used to take him home, and your your family used to uh, right. cook for Fred. They like take Fred. Care of yeah. Fred. They like Fred. And then, See, I thought that was being friendly. No, it is. You know? It is. But after a while, it was like even Fred <laughs> started to even go over by himself sometimes. Well, no, he was over by himself one time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but that was but stayed a long time. time. Stayed a long time with your dad and your mom. and uh, <laughs> they, they, they were up to... They seemed <laughs> to enjoy <laughs> it. No, no. Like, no, no. And, and, then, <laughs> and then for a while, and now that he's got the girlfriend... We don't see him. Fred is very pliable that way. He's the perfect boyfriend in the sense that... He'll just meld into you. You know how life. women always want to change a guy? Fred yeah. is accepting of that. Well, you change, too. You, you, I latch, on, you latch on to certain things. There you go. You're right, you're, you're right. You're right. You're no, right. Don't, don't patronize me here. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so... The girlfriend has, like, you know, now Fred is like world traveler. But if the, right. if the girlfriend went away tomorrow, if something happened to her. Who would he turn into? Her, I would miss him. He would Who go back is he to, by himself? He'd be back up into Connecticut with his parents. I see. No, that's not true. I say it is. I say it's, it's wrong. Why, you want me to dump her? No. <laughs> Just you would never dump her. That's not necessary. She's the best thing that ever happened to you. Yeah. I would, I would now you right. travel, now you wear special clothes. Sure. And, your hair is hey, groomed. you never used to be uh, you there know, you a go. world beater in the fashion department either. All right. Fair enough. <laughs> well, what she, girlfriend took you out, How? Yeah. D. Snyder. <laughs> My girlfriend, D. Snyder. Okay. She goes shopping okay. with me every weekend. I mean, come on. Other than the black hair and the blonde hair, there's not much difference. Oh, Fred. Oh, Fred. So, anyway, he kind of has the perfect relationships. He can, he can, like, sort of zero in on one person. And, and devote himself. And devote himself yeah. to that one person. And it allows himself to be changed, which is good. I admire that, Fred. It's very oh, open. You You're like a chameleon. Yeah. There's no he sarcasm. He doesn't. He'll never mom. believe me. There's hey, no on your own, own you were buying cookie, cookie puffs. puffs. <laughs> you would never buy your mom a cookie puss now. Would you go, if you said to your girlfriend, I'm going to go buy my mom a cookie puss. Yeah. Wait a second. If you said to your mom, you were going to go buy a cookie puss. I mean, if you said to your they girlfriend. They all do things like from years ago, cookie right. puss. Yeah, that's true. You thought of right cookie puss when you said mom instead of girlfriend. It's sort of like that, don't right, you think? Right, what? Right, right, I don't think so. Right. <laughs> 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 okay, I'm gonna cookie puss. Okay. I think your mom still has some of that cookie puss. <laughs> I don't think so. <sighs> You know how destroyed she must have been when she said that cookie puss. Well, open cookie up that box. <laughs> Mom, it's cookie puss. Happy Mother's Day. Hey, she was tough. I love you. She was tough. How can I say I love you more than with a cookie puss? All right. I'm not going to redo that. I, I'm, I don't want to get into that. Because you're forcing me into a situation here. Fred and I have 
on a good day yesterday, and we don't need you. <laughs> that. That's no, right. people like to stir us up. Right, exactly. They like to come between us. All right, I'm sorry. All right, dude. All right, take it easy. Huh? All right, bye-bye. Thanks a lot. See, Gary's not being open and honest. He won't tell us. No, he just ruined that whole bit. Yeah. What do you mean I ruined it? You're not, you're not being honest about Fred. You used to call me no, all no. the time about Fred. The only thing about Fred that I can say... Suddenly you have no is, memory. ...is that I wish that Fred would hang out with us more often. Because, you know, whenever you invite <laughs> Fred out... No, no, I'm serious. I invite Fred out a lot, but he doesn't like to come out that much anymore. Right. He used to come out all the time. Right. With his girlfriend. No, no, Without his girlfriend. girlfriend. Now he has a girlfriend. Because then I'm evaluated every Not by time. me. I don't go out. Are you no, saying I mean, with him he would like to? Yeah, where you. was I? I, I wasn't usually, there. Usually things Who evaluated you? I'm feeling I'm evaluated, you know? Oh. I oh. wasn't there, Fred. No, but the times that you are, you always seem to have that little... We evaluate element. everyone, Fred. It's I part know. of the show. It's part of your charm. Right. <laughs> it's part of my magic. <laughs> would have... you like me to be quiet for four hours? No, not at all. I well, guess we uh, should never talk about you. You I want guess, you want to you want to I not guess, be you know, mentioned on the show. I think there's like certain dissections. Have you ever seen anybody on the show not be dissected? I, you, you've got every to every dissection of Fred. The degree is that, that I am. Oh wait a second, Fred. I'm going to take umbrage with that. Okay. I definitely get it worse than you. You do. For Howard goes to you like once a week, and he comes here like twice a day. And Jackie <laughs> goes to you twice a day. Oh yeah. And even yeah. Robin. No, he really he comes to you not that often. Okay. Then I'm grateful, guys. I'm sorry. And then he gets upset when I don't make reference to him on the air because what you know. Why is Jackie well known, and why am I not well known? Oh, what really? Said that? Oh, yeah. You what have I said that? Yeah, I don't appreciate him. I don't think of him. You I start talking about you, and then right what away you get all defensive. That? Then it's a terrible dissection. Yeah, terrible dissection. All right, Fred doesn't exist anymore. Okay. Stand over there in the corner and don't say anything, and no one will acknowledge you. Business as usual. Good. <laughs> you see what I mean? He's a mess. Business is usual. He's a mess. You can't please him. And I tried to bring him into it. Then he's like, no, don't bring me into it. You're hurting me. Leave yeah. me alone. And he starts yelling like a maniac. <laughs> it's just like, it's just uncomfortable. And everybody around him. And what about so you? Calm. What about you? <laughs> what about what? That's why he's crazy. What about you? What about you? And Robin, what about you? <laughs> Good on the attack. When did I start sounding like Jackie, Robin? <laughs> well, your voice was cracking this morning. What? You think you'd learn from Cookie Puss? <laughs> A lot of people said to me uh, we were very rough this week on Fred with our Cookie Puss. No. I, I, no, I, no. People haven't said that, have they? Seven friends of mine called and uh, asked for Cookie Puss on the answering machine. <laughs> <laughs> they loved it. Oh, okay. Everyone people loves it when Fred is so Enjoy it when Fred gets it. <laughs> well, I'm glad. Oh, you're just he you're can. sensitive. No, I was glad. I was. What are you talking about? You're very sensitive. What are you talking about? New tack. Okay. All right. We turned off your microphone a long time ago. <laughs> Talk to yourself. Yeah. Okay. You're on the air. Fred's really into this TV thing. He went home. Me and Jackie were discussing this morning. We couldn't believe it. Fred went home and typed 19 pages, <laughs> single space. It looked like a book. For like yeah, like a like a book. I, and, and Fred goes, you better read it before. And I go. I'm not reading this. But you know, the best part of this story <laughs> yeah. is that, we remember you had to rearrange some things yeah. in that 19 pages? And Fred said, I am really pissed. They just took out six pages. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you something. Fred is slowly losing his mind. Okay. That's just six okay. pages of worked, my I hard really work. <laughs> six pages of my work. <laughs> Thing runs 37 minutes. The, sh the whole TV show is only 40 minutes. <laughs> no, no, it was just like a lot of direction and stuff, actually. It was very useful. Well, there was that one section because you eliminated a couple of questions. Yeah, right, right. Like, well, that's six what took That's TV. Pages. What can you do, Fred? <clears throat> I would love to do the whole thing. Well, the truth of it is, he said he was going to do that. And it was a real involved thing. And I said, listen, don't do that because you're going to do the whole thing. And either they're not going to read it or they're just going to start chopping at the bits anyway. Mm -hmm. And he said, no, that's what they want. I said, I don't think so. But he called back. Mm -hmm. And sure, and sure that's enough, exactly that's sure what shooting. they exactly sure what they asked I said, for. that's what they want. But Did you read it, Robin? I didn't get to read it. Wow. I just got to hear Freddie over in the corner. Well, you know, you guys were moving on. You yeah. were on another project already. Oh, yeah. Fred was like lurch over there. Mm. Six pages. Oh, yeah. He got very... What can I say? I was pissed. Oh, when Fred writes out those scripts, they really are valuable, but I just hate to get him doing all this work, all this work that gets chopped. You know? No, no, no. What's worse is you go through all that, then those guys do that, and you're really upset, and then you guys laugh about it. <laughs> all right. Six <laughs> that's the worst part, because that's when you really feel like a total jerk. <laughs> Just love him. <laughs> but you're more valuable to be writing jokes and stuff, not 
scripts and direct. Not, not direct. I you're not a director. I, is I what agree. I'm trying to I say. I didn't want to do that. Jackie you're, knows I didn't want to do your that. Floor but I did it. Your directing notes are like incredibly I, involved. I also was going on what uh, you asked me to do earlier this week, which was to really get involved with it, and I did. And yeah, yeah, that was my that was my, state. that was my first mistake. Cynthia, I told him to contact them and say, do. "Watch Family Feud and pull, yeah, pull out the it, essential it, points." I, of could, I could just see that not happening. Right. Right. All right, okay, very good. Well, Listen, that was good, Brad. That was good. Need hands on. All right, no one's laughing. If you had seen his face, because you guys were working, <laughs> you were working, and Freddie was over in the corner. Uh, he gets sidetracked. But you know that's gonna like I wrote a script yesterday. I finished up the Kennedy stuff, yeah. faxed it over, and, and a page was cut out of it. Was Full it page. was it nineteen pages of like? Well, Fred, <laughs> you raw. I mean, you get carried away. I mean, you can sort of paraphrase. That wasn't car that wasn't carried away. It's like it was exact. It's All like, you have to do is say, "Hey, uh, Howard's going to uh, go for the no, list no, of no. prizes." They asked me specifically to write in. Uh, Sound effects cues, oh, right. uh, blocking cues, all that stuff. How do you know how to do that? I didn't. I, I know you I, did it. I did it. It's ridiculous. But I did it. They don't know how to do it either. <laughs> they wanted to see if it could be done. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Hey, get that out of here. I don't want to see it. <laughs> don't don't cut out those six pages. 19 pages for Red Road. I don't want to see it either. I used to Jimmy my door open yesterday. Because <laughs> yeah. I'm sure Freddie now thinks it's um, violated. Yeah. His work has been right. Open with shot of female feud logo. Roll announcer cart with country music. Cut to shot of needlepoint graphic with hookers emblazoned on it, which opens to reveal the hookers standing perfectly still until the words ready for action are spoken. Whoa. Cut to second needlepoint graphic with blank emblazoned on it, which opens to reveal blank, who are also standing perfectly still, I like when he gets into a real heavy stage rushing. Cut to wide shot. Howard walks to face-off podium, and each team captain walks to either end of that podium. Kill music and applause sound effects. At this point, the two contestants will buzz in to give their response. By hitting a button on the table, each contestant will have their own button, which should be connected to some kind of light. Also, an electronic blip-like sound effect should be sounded when the contestants hit the button. This is all relevant, Fred. You know, we're always yelling that they don't do everything. Yeah, well, this is everything. It's written right out. Maybe that's why they didn't. Maybe that's why they cut it out. There's too much stuff for them to do. There you go. All right, let's go to Pam. Winner of the 2004 and 2005 Gracie Allen Award. Anybody named Gracie is good. The Pam Stack Show. Go ahead, Pam. Let's take our first phone call from Miami. Fred, give me a big drum roll, will you, pal? Old pal of mine. There you go, buddy. Go ahead. There he is. There's Fred. All right. There's Fred on the drums. Good for you, Fred. I had a friend come in and watch the show from um, the E room in there the other day. Yeah. She says, what does Fred do? <laughs> it's scary when you tune into the E show and you see that Fred is just sitting there enjoying himself. Thanks, Robin. <laughs> what does Fred do? I want to know what Robin does. So it's make my life miserable. <laughs> Miami Beach, you're on the air. You're our first phone caller. Hey, God, God. <laughs> and you're as stupid as all of them. Lower your radio. Hey, okay, I'm sorry. All right, what are you, an ex-New Yorker or something? Yeah, of yeah, course. as a matter of fact, I was listening to you guys back in uh, 1987. Yeah. And uh, I'm on cellular. I'm on my way to work. I've been trying for a couple... <laughs> Oh. She was yelling. Like I'm right. She wasn't on the phone. She was yelling. Oh, she wasn't on the phone. She was yelling. Her cellular wasn't working. I had to just open my window. That's how you were hearing her. Isn't that amazing? She has a loud, obnoxious voice. No wonder they're killing people in the streets down there. Is there such a thing as a Floridian, like one that grew up there? No, there no. is no such thing. There were never people in Florida. It's all Jews running around down there. Yeah, well, only old people move there. They're not having children. Right. <laughs> I did have to try to explain to Angela what Fred does. Did you really? <laughs> she was very complimentary. Can, can I give her the finger on, on eight? What was she doing, sitting back in the control room? Yeah, she's a computer consultant, and she wanted to see the computer applications in media. Oh, I see. And expand her uh, knowledge of the business. Sounds really annoying. Quite but fun. anyway. <laughs> expand her knowledge of the business. <laughs> so she's, you know, she was, oh, she's yeah, cute. really funny. I don't know. You'd have to ask the E people. They saw her. And you didn't see her? She knows. Is she cute? She's a, she seems like an attractive woman to me. Who is like Oh, flower. lesbian? Uh, right, uh, yes. What, uh, <laughs> who, uh, who is this friend now? You met her before. She was the uh, my next-door neighbor. She came to see Jackie Mason with me. I'm trying to remember if she was cute, though. Ugh. 
Anyway. <laughs> she nice? Got a good body? Yes. How do you know her? She's my next door neighbor. Where you live now? Yeah. And like you've become close with her? Yeah. Oh. Oh, dear. <laughs> Here we go. Just a time, huh? yeah. That's a problem, huh? <laughs> you think she likes you for you or because she realized you were Robin Quivers from no, the radio? she likes me for me. <laughs> she didn't know who she was. Yeah. <laughs> no, she knew who I was. But anyway. So How long have you been friends with her? Oh, well, about three years, I guess. Have you ever yelled at her through the three years? No. No? I haven't had to yet? She doesn't know her that well. She doesn't know her that well. <laughs> behavior. I don't see her that often. I went along and I've yelled that. <laughs> Have I ever yelled at you, Fred? <laughs> <laughs> anyway. And what is she, another uh, bachelorette like yourself? She is a divorced woman. Mm. Oh, I mean, she's hot. <laughs> <laughs> is that right? Huh? Like Mary Tyler Moore, you know, like hot to track. going out. Not hot to track. You don't know the girl. Listen She's a divorce. She, no. He's just angry because she didn't know what he does. And you didn't try. So what happened? She was back there watching the TV yeah, show. Yeah, she was watching how, you know, the E thing all goes together. Well, you want to know something? What? You know what she got to see. Back there, we have, every, you know, I have Fred isolated on his own camera. Right. Yes. And in case Fred does something, I want them to <laughs> capture it. it. <laughs> so I can see what he does. Well, it didn't happen the other day while she was yeah. here. You mean she watched the whole time? Because it hasn't happened yet. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> the two of you can hold hands and jump off the 59th Street Bridge. All right. Fine. Wait a minute. This is so funny because she comes back and she's like, wow, that was really interesting. And wow, Jackie's incredible. Right. That Jackie's show? incredible. <laughs> then she says now to me. Really now I know she's pouring. <laughs> now you're really yeah. pouring then she says to me, but what does Fred do? Yeah. And then she okay. says. He's got this faraway look in his eye. Yeah, like yeah. he's not even there. Well, that's the look I put on. I mean, that's the, that's why I put up a, a wall between me and Fred, so I don't have to stare at him. Because I used to get that. Like when I first started working, I met Fred. Don't forget, I met him in Hartford. Yes. And you'd look over at Fred, and Fred. Would, this is Fred's look during a show. I know what it is because I, here it is. This is Fred. Oh boy. Is there? Is this like Kick Fred Friday? Is that the deal? <laughs> Do you have a? You know what it is? I think it's the way you absorb food or something. Because like you get, you get like your <laughs> you energy drift. You know what I mean? Your mind I goes. Think what it is is my energy gets sucked out from that part of the room right back there. We have Robin sitting. Basically, yeah. It's, so you know what it is? Like, Fred's I wasn't vortex. Sitting here in it's like there's like this negative black hole that just sits right back there. Just goes, you call him Robin a black hole? <laughs> I, no, I, didn't right. I knew it. I didn't I'm go that far. A negative me. black hole? <laughs> negative black hole. You're not Kurt Waldheim Jr. right now. I don't mean it in the sense that you guys want to mean it so bad. Uh, uh. I was sucking your energy in Hartford, Fred? From there, it started early. Okay, maybe the e-camera can do this. I'll do my impression of Fred, uh -huh. and then they can put us side by side on the screen oh, good, and that. see if we look alike. Okay. Okay. Guess who's who? There you go. <laughs> she want a pen? Seriously, Fred, this is what you do, I swear. Okay. Like sometimes in writing meetings and stuff, you're like this. Uh-huh. <laughs> well, there's so many exciting things going on in those meetings. I'll look over you. Well, no thanks to you. If you're going to sit there like that. Yeah, if you're going to contribute that. Now, usually I wait for, like, Jackie to eat his food and Gary to come in. Oh, I see. They, they, they make you. They and make Robin you. does her little show. <laughs> and then when that all that crap finally gets done, then we can finally then get to work. we can work. <laughs> but all that's part of the process. Freddie no, is part of, very part of serious. the process is like this rodeo that goes on, you know. Very serious. And he doesn't <laughs> like all these shenanigans. Fred likes to come back and work. Yeah, that's a silly Yeah, thing. that's why he zones out. So it's like by like, 3 o'clock in the afternoon when we were sitting there during the TV show, we all be going, Man, we're really tired. I wonder why. Excuse me, why do you zone oh, in here? Excuse me, then why do you zone in here? <laughs> Probably that because you're saying something that means nothing. <laughs> but Fred, you don't wake up until 3 o'clock. Sometimes you don't show up till 3 o'clock. Sometimes you disappear. Admit it. That's not true. He goes into a warp. He goes into we a warp. We never <laughs> see you after this show. Of course you do. Well, if you came in here, you'd find me. Fred has this funny move. After the show now, we have, like, really abbreviated meetings because I got yeah. the movie going on and stuff. So we sit down. Robin comes in real quick. She knows that I'm only going to be in there for five minutes before she I have to meet up And leaves. She doesn't suck oh, up. She does. She's she, busy. Just We're discussing oh, the show. Sucking up. Up, we're man. discussing the show. I'm sucking up. She, he thinks that's sucking up. That's called working. No, no, you she's never not, she's It's the creative in. process. Okay, you're is never, that what that is? Okay, excuse me. You're never in these meetings to help make show decisions. How would you know what she does? So how would you know? Sometimes how I ask I, Robin. How would you know? I ask Robin her opinion of guests and stuff like that. <laughs> yeah, well, who cares? Unfortunately, <laughs> we never get around to my opinion of you anymore. We know what your opinion of me is. So anyway, like Jack Jackie knows you got to come back real quick. Right. Robin knows it. And then we sit there and we go, I wonder where Fred is. And remember, when even when we have those great movies and stuff to screen, yeah. Fred comes in at the end. When we're all leaving. Every one of them. 
That's because I'm doing oh. work in this room, right? Oh, you watched you it already? You know what's a very funny move? Yeah. Is every right. couple of months or something, we're sitting back there and and you do make the obvious, you know, where does Fred go after the show? And the eyes kind of go around from everybody to everybody because nobody volunteers to say, I'll follow him after the show and see where he goes. Yeah, no one wants to do that. You know something? Yeah. You guys yeah. can follow me I'm anytime. not doing that. You want to come in? Yeah, you actually want to help me carry stuff out? out. It's no, no, no. Didn't you follow Fred once? We sent Gorilla two days in a row and, and he shook him. Yeah. yeah. He lost he Gorilla. Him. He lost him in this building. <laughs> how, did you, how, did he, how did you lose him? Uh, well, for one, you got to make sure you're not being like, it's not obvious that you're following. Right, you got to keep your distance. So I'm trying to keep my distance and then it's like, you know, Fred looks my way, I'm looking the other way, and then you look back and Fred just gone. He, he disappeared. I know, I know. He's, he's like he's like a shadow. He I says know. his name backwards. <laughs> <laughs> and he goes into the fourth dimension. <laughs> I don't know what it is with Fred, but he disappears. And then when that he shows is. up, and then when he shows up, my office, we're all leaving. He goes, "Oh, you guys did that already? Oh, you watched it? And, and, watch some, it? <laughs> and so, sometimes we got to go and like you know go find Freddy, and that's even harder. You know? I know. You you check every building, and then all of a sudden I can't find him. And then all of a sudden he's just like poof, he comes out. And there Remember he is. that day we <laughs> walked around the station trying to find him? Yeah. We checked every room. I know. I'm convinced Fred has a hiding spot on another floor. <laughs> I really am. I am too. And the hiding spot is this studio where everybody disappears <laughs> to the back office, leaving everything in a state of. No, no, but I mean like sometimes after that, you, <laughs> that's that's my hiding spot right here, guys. <laughs> not, not always. I think he changes the spot each day. Of the time. What? I think he changes the spot each day. You know, so you can never corner. Yeah, for a while. He no, had you know, one you know, specific no, place. Don't you know, think he has a nesting no, place? He's got a phone and he plugs it in a different That's place. right. And when yeah. he got discovered, he moved. Now, after the show, exactly. I'm usually doing something here while Jackie's making Joke Land Central calls. So. Right. Don't switch the focus. I will switch the focus because that's the truth. Nice try. Well, anyway, I did. Nice try. It was a good. It was a. I mark. did attempt to explain to Angela what you did. It was very difficult. No, that's why you said on the air in front of millions of listeners. <laughs> I'm really not trying did. to humiliate me at I all. Was, right? was, not at all. I was really trying hard, and she still didn't get it. <laughs> all right. I have to leave during spot. Yeah, me too. <laughs> hey, Robin, you deal with Fred. I'm not days. coming in there. <laughs> anyway, the point is, don't what is the point? Anything, don't do anything. <laughs> no, Fred, you have your own style of work habit, and we're not going to interfere and with it. Oh, nobody no, not gets at all. Except right. you just humiliate the hell out of me. <laughs> exactly. It's <laughs> fine. Okay. Aww. I didn't mean it that way. Oh, sure you did. <laughs> Doesn't Fred march to his own drummer? He, I mean, he moves at his own pace. Yeah. You know, I mean, he can't be. If he wants to do something, he's going to do it when he gets to it. I'm yeah. not saying that in a bad way, but you do. But he's kind nobody, of no, nobody, everybody you know has, what? nobody tells him what to do. But he can't break his rhythm. There's another move he has. Remember when we all used to have to go somewhere together? Yeah. And he, we can't find and Fred. We can't find Fred. He always took a separate cab. That's right. Right. Because <laughs> he always has something. He can never be there. He can't because break I'm away. usually doing something. You know, what are you doing? For the show. Really? Jeez. Why don't you tell somebody what you're doing? <laughs> yeah, we'd love you to You never know. ask. <laughs> what is it? What If you didn't do whatever no, it is you, know what you do, is. Usually, what, would, what would happen? I usually come back in here and I find stuff that gets left over really? by the interns All right. or, or stuff. All right. Like okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. I don't Listen, the show's successful and obviously whatever, whatever you're, you're doing, doing is working. And if you stop doing it, who knows? We might lose our success. <laughs> but you know where it gets really ugly, Howard? Yeah, I don't want to change anything. There, there, are these, no, there are these days where... I don't care that this Angela doesn't know what you do. <laughs> As long as I don't know what well, you do, it's fine. What Angela does. That's what I want to know. Well, why don't you follow her around? I think I will. You know where it gets really ugly? On those days. Let's that... call her. <laughs> when does it get ugly? On those days when you're in the back yeah. and you say, get Fred for me. Right. you got to see Fred about something now. Right. And we go to look for Fred and he's in here, but he doesn't get there quick enough. And then you start to get really, really angry. Why does Fred have to do that? Can't somebody tell Fred I want him here now? Yeah, change and the routine. I can't routine get him in here day. quick enough. You yeah, break and, up the routine. And I'm in the middle. It gets ugly. Yeah. No, he will. He like a robot. If if I said, listen, Fred, no, there are Germans you? attacking in the back office. <laughs> <laughs> we need your help immediately. He would say, I am doing what I do every oh, day. No, he but always I, says, I, uh, okay, but he just never comes. Right. If I do, yeah, that's his other move. Yeah. He says, okay, I'll come, and then if he doesn't go. Change the routine. Something gets messed up. It always does. All right. <laughs> you gotta hear when we come in and get Fred when you need him. Yeah. We're like, hey, Fred, you know, how are you? Like right now, right? He, he goes, "What does he want? I, I gotta clean up." You know, he's like, and he starts complaining. He's just like talking to himself and like I know. complaining. He talks to himself. No, well, Fred is programmed. Fred is his programming is. Uh, Freddie, I love you. <laughs> he is programmed to complete his tasks. Oh yeah. And he is not going to. Uh, Silly me. Yeah. And he is not going to change Silly that routine. Me. Remember How once we me. tried to take the duty of getting the carts out of the studio away from him? He would not let go. No. He would not let go. No. We've been trying to get him to tell Gary what the system is. Well, Fred's big is. thing after the show is he has to put away all the sound effects and tapes. Yeah. 
But I said, Fred, maybe we can train someone to put that stuff away so you can be in on something more important like writing or discussing this. Even just even if it's nothing, but right. you're just sort of in with the crowd. It really never works. <laughs> and well, it never works. <laughs> what can I say? And who have we tried to assign that task of taking Fred's tapes and putting them back in the carousel? No one else can do it. Um, it might have been Steve. Because I, Steve, I don't were you one of the people who tried? No, it, I don't no think so. I think Ganji me, was it. I think it was Ganji. Was it Ganji? Yeah, and what yeah. did he do wrong? It, it just stuff just was getting misplaced and junk like that. I saw. And I know once, uh, you know, do you understand now how the cards go into the wall, Gary? Not even a clue. <laughs> there, uh, the only thing, the only good thing is... You know what it is. When, Fred, well, let me say, Fred is, and you Fred is like the good humor man. That's not even my system. Fred is like the good humor man. He can reach blindly in and grab the proper <laughs> That's right, ice cream sandwich out. Buddy. He can get that nutty buddy. You don't even have to look. So. How did he know? Yeah. What is it, Gangy? Were you assigned the task of, of Fred's cleanup? No, I was never assigned that because they didn't want to give me that responsibility because Fred figured that everything would get screwed up. But right. obviously... You know, Fred, I, has anyone actually attempted to do your cleanup? They have. They have. I, do you sorry. remember the individual I that was cannot, assigned? I, I cannot, Your Honor. No, I cannot. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm saying, was there someone assigned to that task? At one point, I think there was. You should try it right now. I'll have somebody clean up. I mean, how difficult could it be? I, I mean, you don't I think, think it is. Doing it right. I, I don't think it's difficult either. Right. But for some reason, the, no one else it can do it. makes it from point A to point B and back again. Could oh. it be great to talk to you after the show, see your impressions of the next day's show, sure. and perhaps uh, be a part of that? But a little great. input. You know what? Wait a second. Stuttering John has something. Uh, John is the worst. No, I've oh, been no. here for six years. I've never been, seen anyone assigned to that job. Well, I, would, I, would, I would definitely never assign <laughs> you it to you. You know what used to be a great scramble? Is once in a while you'd be in here and you'd say, uh, get such and such a song parody, and for some reason Fred was here, or maybe running spots or something, yeah. and me and Gary, or maybe me and Gary John, <laughs> would be in the office, banging our heads together, trying to figure out the whys and wherefores of where that particular song that's Fred, that's might where Fred be. Puts them on. No, Fred, Are, and Fred can walk in like this and... And can pick it up. Are they filed by song? Are they filed by? Now, I yelled at Gary. I said, Gary, you have to know where Fred files stuff. And Gary has been unable to pick Fred's brain. But we, you know what? We've got it. We've got it narrowed down to at least they're in sections now. But Look, so here's the bottom line. Reason. I get off the air. Well, here's the bottom line. You might say, what is the urgency of having Fred around? You get off the air. I've talked for four so to Robin five hours. Can, no, no, not apart. Robin. Forget Robin for a second. <laughs> okay, Jackie can rip me apart. Four to five hours, you're on the air. There, Gary Your the voice gets tired. There's only so much energy to continue writing or preparing for the next day. Plus, I got the e-television people I have to meet with. And then, like yesterday, it was five o'clock. We're meeting with the, the movie people, you know. So there's only so much time in the day. And you, you get off the air and you say, quickly, let's huddle and let's think about what right. we want to do here. And then you go, where's Fred? Now, okay, this happens all the time. It's always, okay, Jackie, quick, get in here. Robin, get in here. Everyone, get in. Where's Fred? You can never get Fred. Fred is always the last one to be found. Yeah, and you can't find him, and he's busy. And, and then he, when he walks in, he's not in a rush. No, never. He's never rushed. <laughs> he's never in a rush. I've never seen him. He's a, he's a type B. A if Fred gets an important call, like while he's doing his, his you know, ritual, yeah. he won't take it. He'll say, no. have, have him call him, he'll call him back. Right. He's right. It could be, well, know, that's his moment. It could be uh, Cheerios on line one. They want you to be the new Honey Nut. Right. Like, I'll call you back. All right. Because he's putting away his tapes. <laughs> Plus, I, Goldberg, I'll get back to him. <laughs> yeah. I, I have seen Freddie, though, in here, because I used to do this for a long time. He, and he'd sit here and he'd review, like, what happened on the show or, like, a guest. Or oh, a so he does, he does. Like, actually, even his biggest thing is, like, review doing like a song that's on like he'll play a song right. oh, he's and he'll give here. us like the whole like oh he does the fred nara show oh, i see oh, I, I gotta go yeah. <laughs> right right wow. right Oh, I didn't know you were doing that. You See, you know you're on your own, pal. Now, why don't you do that with us? Now that Ganji's working for E, he's feeling real secure. Wait a minute. He's oh, I'm sorry, Fred. Robin does the Robin show? Yo, he does the Fred show in here. Oh! But Fred, you have to, you know, you have, you're needed elsewhere to do the Fred show in there here. You, you know what it is? Fred really needs more of a creative outlet. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and he does it in here for the intern. How is the Fred show? Is it interesting? It's, yeah, it's sometimes it's good. Sometimes he's, he goes on for, you know, a little long. long. And then him yeah. and Pete get, have, a, like, a whole little argument sometimes on, like, bands and who they like. Am I oh, actually I doing see. something oh. during? Yes, oh. you absolutely. Oh, don't you think that slows you? Don't you think that might slow you down from getting back into the office? I don't think that does at all. Well, it takes time to listen to something. It takes uh, whatever amount of time I'm doing my task. That's how ever long I design my monologue. <laughs> I know more about Fred's dog than I think Alice. You know what we ought to do? <laughs> you know what, we, uh, what is it? Fred talks about his dog after the show? I, I know about his dog. I what know. do you know? To give me some oh, facts. He's just really trying to get air time. Come on, tell us. You are so pathetic, Freddy, I swear you little bastard. Like he tells, me, he tells me like where he takes it to the vet. You know, like he tells oh, me all, boy. You know, I don't oh, know. I've never told you that. Now you're lying. Now, oh, you do too, Freddy. I swear. Now you're lying. Freddy, I swear to God. Is that why you're so fat? Because you have so many lies in you. Is that the deal? <laughs> <laughs> deal? Fred, I'm sorry. You eat lies for breakfast. Hey, Miami, welcome to Fred Friday. <laughs>
Now, what you're saying is that Fred will go into minutia. I know I'm around Fred. Fred will, if he is doing his tasks, he will slow down and get into it with Pete Fornatel, and right. they'll discuss you know, music, right. the, the vet, right. how much you know, how much the dog means to him. Right. And Fred may think it doesn't take him any longer, but when Fred speaks, have but you Robin, noticed? Robin, you're never here, he so you do not to, know. He it does has to slow use you down. his hand, yeah. and he has to do that look where he looks up into the ceiling on yes. one side yeah. to get the thought out. And he gets very emotional about yes. stuff. Yeah. Silly man. <laughs> <laughs> you and that dog. I wish I could squash that dog's head. Yeah. Bring that dog in here. Bring it in so we can meet it on, on camera. I don't think you know what the E-Crew has to do? They have to aim a camera on Fred as he does his cleanup and conversation. Yes. A hidden camera. So we can see what Fred is up to. You That's can, it. You can do they, it all they, your life. They have a ball watching Freddy during the show. Oh, do they? Oh, are you kidding? They just have one camera. They watch. The, there's one camera on Freddy. And they just go, look, look, look what he's doing now. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Well, I wish we could see that. <laughs> Damn, I got to get back in the control room. Get a monitor. And you said that. That girl from the computer company said I didn't do a thing. Well, it obviously has nothing to do with the show. Sure. Get a Fred monitor. In here, <laughs> yeah. In fact, uh, for the you know what, we don't make this into an e show. And now I know they have a whole outtake reel of Fred, Fred just yes. sitting and doing God stuff. We can get Fred's look. Yeah. You know, Fred He's eating his breakfast. Here we can play it right now. During this whole conversation, it could be in a little box. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, in the box at the top. But like you're not even you're talking about something else, and Fred's just making these faces like. Yeah, like he's agreeing with you, but no one's looking at him. But no, that's why I won't look. <laughs> turn to stone. I'll turn to stone. <laughs> All right, Fred. Obviously, uh, you've uh, taken a bit of a critique uh, here. No, I've <laughs> taken a bashing. <laughs> one of the things out. Yeah. One of the things I could say. You know what it is? It's like everybody gets so mad at you because I'll do impressions of them from time to time. <laughs> yeah. And this, this is the revenge. So Bruno can come in. Ha ha! I'm gonna get that son of a bitch. <laughs> so what is this stuttering, John? One of the things that Gary was afraid to come in here and mention, but. I'll do Go ahead. Do it. Is that why he doesn't have the Frank, balls to come in here? And Frank could get you caught in a conversation where he'll just keep talking, and you're afraid to leave. And you, you can't get out. Something. And you can't get out. Like if you're gonna leave, he's gonna get pissed, and he's like going off for about a, a ten minutes. I, I like, won't call him on the phone so for that so reason. Just go say, hey, I, got some. I used to call Fred all the time, I know I get and then he gets into a into a discussion, and he won't stop. He has a, he's obsessive compulsive. I'm telling you, he won't stop talking about right. it until he's done. He can't even change the you subject. Your psychology. There is no punctuation to break in. It would be one thing. Where did you get your psychology degree? It would be one. One thing if Fred talks for 10 minutes about a number of things, yes. but it'd be the same subject oh, yes. for 10 minutes. And he will not stop until he's done. No. He's different now, though, because he's called me at home from time to time, and it's really quick. Is it? but well, that's because we yelled at him. In the that. old days, I used to tell my mom when I lived at home, when Freddie called, you looked at your watch, and you started saying goodbye two minutes later, and if you were lucky, you got off in a half an hour. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> that hurt, Gary. That really hurt. Did that hurt, really? That really hurt. Did you look too much honesty in the room? That really hurt. <laughs> Gary keeps running I, out. I, I, I thought we were friends, Gary. No, he ran out. He was out there telling himself, don't go in there, don't go in there. He said, like, yeah. I want to be on the... He ran back in the <laughs> That's what it is. Now he's kicking himself. Yeah. Air whores. Welcome to the you know you're verbose. I have been. I have gotten better. The other thing that Angela asked me, she said, you know, because she was, again, she was just like very Watching. understanding of what Jackie does, what you do, what I right, do. Right. Well, she tell said, her to go to hell, okay? She said, is Fred funny? <laughs> <laughs> Fred is very funny, but he's, the person that comes her. Her. He's, he's funny to Pete for to tell. <laughs> Does Pete uh, enjoy these conversations, you think? Uh, yeah, it's really funny because sometimes, like, Freddie and I will sit in here we'll, and we'll imitate Pete to, to Pete. Right. This is very funny. I see. Oops. All right, very good. Well, I hope so Angela... Wait a minute, wait a minute. Really Are you Pete? saying that you're actually taking time out from your tasks yeah, sometimes, to, to indulge yes. in, this, in these hijinks? Yes, sometimes I will. Oh, but I'm go. a young and impression. All right, listen. But it Thank God you work for like... you now. He, uh, Fred has really worked on his Pete Fornatel impression. Yes. Over the next one. Yeah, of course he doesn't do it on the air. Yeah, all right. the other people, though, he could right. be imitating. He's got Pete Fornatel down. Yeah, that's very good. <laughs> that's something I can make use of. Well, now I know to, what to tell Angela. Right. <laughs> He's very valuable in my show. <laughs> and, of course, I didn't write anything for the FMEs this week. So. All right. Hey, it's just Angela. Who's she? She's nobody. No, that's why you guys just drag it out and just, like, trot it without presenting the whole case. But, of course, we never do have Fred, it. Fred, let me say something. If you, if Angela saw the show today, if she heard the show today, she would see what you do. All right? Yeah, get, get humiliated. All right. All right, Fred, now do, do something uh, for me, please.